What's going on everyone, my name is Victor and today I want to update you guys on my Mac Mini M1 but today I'll be talking specifically about its performance with Cinema 4D. I've gotten a couple questions on how the Mac Mini M1 handles with Cinema 4D and I've been using it a lot more recently and I was also told by someone on there that they couldn't find any videos on YouTube regarding this subject so I thought might as well share my feedback with you guys if you are some aspiring 3D artist. So if you never saw my first review video on the Mac Mini M1, you can check it out right here. And just to remind you guys, I did get the one terabyte hard drive with 16 gigs of RAM. All right, now let's talk about the speed when you're using Cinema 4D on the Mac Mini M1. I can tell you this right now, it's a million times quicker and better than the iMac that I came from. I wasn't really even able to use Cinema 4D on that iMac. I couldn't even maneuver around the scene without it just glitching and like nothing was fluent on there. When I'm using it on my Mac Mini, it's super fluent. Only every now and then will it just kind of frees up for about 10 seconds and the cursor will disappear. And normally that's only when I have the active renderer on and I'm trying to move around a scene that's got a lot going on. Now from experience from my last video, I had a bunch of people that had said, you know, why don't you get like a PC with good graphics card for $1,300, there's so many better options. Yeah, there may be. And that leads me into my next point, and that is, since I'm new to 3D, I decided to subscribe to Skillshare. This is not sponsored. I started watching a bunch of Visual Dawn's tutorials. If you don't know who he is, he is a crazy 3D artist, and I'm very inspired by his work. And so when I saw that he was on there, I was like, perfect. He's the one I want to learn some 3D stuff from. So I'd follow along his tutorials and every time we would go to render the current frame just to see how the project's looking, my renders were always a couple seconds faster than his. And I have no clue what computer he was using, but I can only assume he had a decent graphics card and a decent build. Now these three videos right here are about 20 seconds long each and they took about an hour and a half to render out of Cinema 4D, which honestly, not that bad. Now one thing that I did learn recently as of April of 2021 is that Redshift does not offer their software for silicon based apples. Hopefully that will change in the future, but when I was talking to the Maxon customer service rep about it, they were talking about some sort of beta version and so maybe a full version is on the way. Now my overall opinion is I am still super happy with this computer I have almost no complaints and if you're looking to get started in 3D maybe you don't know if it's for you but you kind of want to try it out and your main gig right now is shooting and editing videos I don't see why you wouldn't like this computer too well that's all I got for you guys today I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative if you did leave me a thumbs up comment what you thought down below if you have any other questions and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one